Hello everyone, welcome back to Art a la carte. In this video, we're doing another cheap art challenge. This time I was at my local Dollar Tree and I found an entire 24 piece art kit for, yeah, you guessed it, $1. I mean, this thing has gotta be great, right? Let's check out and see what's inside. Inside, you're going to find a wide selection of awesome quality, I'm sure, <laughs> art tools, including crayons, paints, paintbrush, a pencil eraser, and even a pencil sharpener. So let's see what I can create with this. I did choose to use a piece of cardstock because I knew with the watercolor paint that if I used like a computer paper, it would buckle and tear so badly that it really wouldn't be fair. So um, I didn't grab like watercolor paper, but I thought, well, cardstock is kind of like still ch cheapish to do um, watercolor pictures on, so I'll do that. So I decided to sketch up a cute baby duck because what's better than a cute baby duck? Nothing. Well, maybe, you know. I had to choose something, so I thought a baby duck would be awfully cute. Next, I had to decide which of the two art mediums, watercolor or the color crayons, that I think would be the hardest to use. And I actually really thought it would be the watercolors that would be the hardest to use, so I decided to start off with those first. So I got out the palette, and I even attempted, uh, for the most part, to use the cheapo brush, which is just those little plastic bristles, which are just so nasty. And the paints were really hard to activate, so I spritzed them with water and let them sit for a minute just to kind of begin to unharden and then began to scrub on it with the little paintbrush and slowly began to make a little puddle of paint, which actually was fairly pigmented. But you're going to notice, if you, if you look closely, you'll notice that the paint itself is really like almost like painting with a pudding-like consistency. It was the weirdest thing. And even though the pigments were really, really great, um, I found that when they dried, they dried extremely chalky. Like I could go over top of my finger and just rub, 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 and the paint would just pretty much rub right off. But you know, again, what are we expecting for dollar art kits? Not even dollar um, art supplies, but the whole art kit. So it was a little bit of a challenge, but I'll tell you the biggest challenge is this paintbrush because there's no way to get any kind of like detail with it and I don't know it's the only thing that I would ever say throw away right away is those kind of paintbrushes so I did end up switching over to a craft paintbrush that I have it's not one of my regular paintbrushes it's one that I use for um, even glue I'll, I'll use this paintbrush to do glue things and white out and stuff like that so it's, it's still a extremely cheap art brush it's just has better uh, bristles than what they had so I had to take a couple different techniques with it um, kind of dabbling the paint on there and I was actually surprised at how fun it was um, to create but again once it finished and it was dried the texture of the paint is just really nasty and yeah just very chalky and I've gone as sad because it turned out to be a really cute deck so next I went ahead and grabbed the crayons which I thought would you know act probably not as well as like Crayola brand crayons, but would act a little bit better than what I ended up having. They ended up being scary. So again, I decided to go ahead and make a matching piece of a little duck. So I sketched out yet another one again on, I think I'm still using my other piece of the cardstock and then began to lay in the color of the crayon, which immediately I began to go, Ooh, there's something drastically wrong with these crayons and uh, as the video progresses you'll see that not only are they just really really waxy but they they create these little flecks of like balls of wax all over and so if you try to brush them off it just smears the wax over and not in a good way like I thought well maybe I could use the smear technique for something but it didn't work I ended up having to get like a dry paint brush and just sweep them off so that I wouldn't smudge my whole picture and definitely no layering of any color um, so that one was a challenge and uh, I couldn't quite figure a way to really work it the more I tried to lay in color you can see it's just not having it so 
Really, I'm surprised that the paints were the better of the two. But it's always fun to do these types of challenges and to see what you can do with cheap supplies. For one thing, it makes you really, really appreciate your true art supplies when you get back to them. Well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit it with a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Check out some of the other cheap art supply challenges that I've done. I'll have a link to the playlist in the description box below for all the challenges I've done. And as always, God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.